Hi there. Right, Steve here again with another video on the ATEM software control. This time we're going to try and do that same sort of multi-layered uh, output we did on the physical control panel a little earlier on, where we had material being generated on ME2 up here, a sort of half wipe between color bars and something, uh, and the result of ME2 being beamed down to ME1, where we did another wipe with some other source. So you had two video layers on ME2, you had one video layer being provided by, by, provided by ME1, and then a downstream key with something else keyed over the top as well. So we're going to do the same sort of thing. Um, not going to go into all the detail. You've got all that in the last one. So in this case, I'm going to pull up on the Mix and Effects ME2 bank. I'm going to bring up uh, Cam18, which is our, uh, our hyperdeck. And is it showing anything at the moment? ME2 program. I'm going to bring up Media Player 2 as a source. Oh, it's over there. Looking at the wrong screens, looking at this one. Should have been looking over there. So, uh, Cam 18 is uh, the recording we made uh, and from the Hyperdeck when we did the physical control panel a little while ago. This is clip number 8. So, if I go to my Media Players, show Hyperdeck, and you see I've actually selected clip number 8. It's about, it's about a minute of color bars, but at least it's something. So, CAM18 is there, that's our hyperdeck number 6, and on the preview bus I'm going to have Media Player 2, which is our rolling logo, So as you can see up there, currently on loop. Okay, And I can use, in this case I'm going to do a wipe, and let's see what the current wipe is. So I'm going to move the T-bar about halfway, and our wipe is a circle wipe from the top left hand corner, so I'm going to have it like we did there, with a bit of colour bars on the left. There we go. That's good. So that's the result of the ME2, the Mix and Effects 2 the Mix and Effects 2 layer, and I'm going to send that to Mix and Effects 1 by pushing PGM2. And you can see there it is coming through. So that's a half wipe between the uh, colour bars and the rolling uh, clip in the background. So that's currently on program on ME1. And so what I'm going to have on ME1, I'm going to have, uh, what can I pick? Super Source. That's where you have multiple video layers in multiple boxes and things. So that's in my preview. Yeah. I'm going to use my downstream key, and I'm going to use my downstream key tie like we did before. So I'm going to set up my downstream key. Downstream keys is going to be Media Player 3, just like we had before and I'm going to push my downstream key tie button and you can see there's media player 3 up there is media player 3's lower third and it's sitting on the preview and to key it in I'm going to use the T bar and this will be interesting to see what happens to a tied downstream key it's on a mix at the moment so I'll pick a wipe instead let's just choose wipe and we'll use the T bar and we'll see how that looks so it's a diamond wipe bringing that through. And you see what's happening is the downstream key is mixing. The white, it's a wipe bringing the video through, video through, because the downstream key is tied, the downstream key is mixing. Okay. So just to save confusion, I'm going to turn the downstream key tie off, and I'll just bring up the downstream key when I need it. So here we are, there's our wipe. So in the background, we've got the half, half uh, circular wipe of the color bars and the looping media player, that's on ME2. ME, uh, ME1 is coming through the diamond wipe, which is the super, which is the um, super source being diamond wiped through on top, and then I'm going to cut the downstream key on, and there's your downstream key. So that's the same sort of thing we did before, four video layers, including the downstream key.